Hi everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to share with you how we're getting our Zone 3 garden ready for spring. Over the last few years we've planted both a vegetable garden and a flower garden with perennials and some fruit trees in it and this year we're going to do the same thing and I think we're going to do it bigger than we usually do because my husband and my kids are on board this year so that we can make it a family affair and do all of our gardening together. I am super excited. I can't wait to get fresh fruits and vegetables from the garden. I just think it's the best. Today's video is a collaboration with Lisa of Farmhouse on Boone. We thought it would be really neat to see how different our garden prep is in the spring. She's down south in the states in Missouri. I'm up north in Canada, Alberta, Canada. So I have a zone three garden, whereas she has a zone six garden so things are gonna be a lot different. Here's Lisa. Hey everyone, my name is Lisa and I'm a blogger at farmhouseonboon.com. I share food from scratch, natural living, a handmade home, and our simple lifestyle. You can find me at farmhouseonboon.com, on Instagram at farmhouseonboon, and of course on my YouTube channel, Farmhouse on Boon, as well. I am super excited to be doing this collaboration with Christina on gardening. So after you finish watching Christina's Zone 3 video, be sure to stop over and see what we're doing in Zone 6 to prepare the soil and get ready for a great gardening season. So make sure to visit Lisa's video after you see mine I'll leave a link in the description box below and now let me share with you how we get our zone 3 garden ready for the spring so like I said we live in Alberta Canada and it is still quite cold here as you can see we have a ton of snow and it's about zero degrees Celsius so here's our little greenhouse obviously we can't plant anything yet we can't till the soil we can't do anything but we can kind of plan out how we're going to do our spring garden so we're gonna put some new plastic on this little greenhouse this year and we plant more sensitive things here like tomatoes. And here's the site for our big garden. The snow is almost up to my knees. So yeah, we can just do our planning and our indoor planting so far. So what we do early spring like this is go through our big catalog of seeds. My husband is a seed packet collector so he has this giant suitcase of all sorts of seeds and we're just picking which vegetables we want to plant this year. We have some perennials in our front bed and I'll share that with you later this spring but we're just picking the vegetables that we're going to plant in our big garden this year. So these are all the seeds that we're going to plant directly into the soil after May long weekend. So usually about the first week of June, it's warm enough to directly plant our seeds. So hardy things like cucumbers, squash, peas, and we're going to buy some potatoes and some onions when they're out in the stores here. Uh, so we're just saving these and setting these aside to put directly in the garden later. And then we're choosing things like tomatoes and varieties of peppers to plant as seedlings and put in our greenhouse. So like I said, I want to try to make this more of a family affair this year and I think it's such a great learning experience for the kids too. So we want to get them involved a lot this year. So little B and I had a ton of fun planting all our varieties of tomatoes and sweet peppers in these little jiffy pellets in some trays. So we're doing this inside right now and we're going to just put these by a window or use a grow light if we have to to get these little seedlings going. And then we're going to put these guys in our greenhouse at the end of May or the first week of June. So make sure to check back in a couple months to see how we prepare our Zone 3 garden soil and get planting in the garden. Thanks so much for watching my gardening video today. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a little different than the regular decor that we do, but I love how home and garden really go together. I would love to hear in the description box below which gardening zone you're in and how you're preparing your garden for spring. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys all again in my next video. Bye.